Right, nine o'clock next morning. There we go. Come on, stop faffing about, get that tape off. Who put it on? You put it on. Looking and lovely and shiny. He's actually, he's actually done a pretty good job for a change. Yeah, they look nice when they polish. Yeah, they polish on them. Got a bit of dust in this one. Yeah, but I'm not charging you for that. Yeah. I won't charge you for the dust. Now, can you bugger off and give me peace? No. It's got to be black underneath now. That'll do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you bought it. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> you wait to see him move it. I can move it, mate. As long as I don't dirty my clothes, you'll be all right. You watch the strain now. Hey, up straight. It's only a bit. Yeah, right, eh? Look at this. Huh? I didn't get this dirty doing your motorbike bits. Oh. You happy with that? Yes, thank you. Oh. Very happy. There you go, then. Right, just put the back mud guard on and the indicators. So, hopefully, yep, indicator, indicators, can't do nothing till I get the bat light, that's on its way from America, it's in Kentucky or something still at the minute, so we'll put the front mud guard on next, well, the new shocks. They really make it stand out now. So much better than what was on it. Starting to look nice and clean now, the bike. Yeah, well happy with the shocks. Well, that's looking really cool now. Let's get them decals sorted. dead smart don't you just hate it every time you make a bit look nice it makes another bit look bad like the seat I mean the seat's pretty functional there's no rips or tears but it's just not right another 40 quid get a new seat cover the back lights turned up from America. Eleven pound fifty. Can't fault it. With the back fender for a XL five hundred. So I'm sure I can either use that or sell it on. Postage was thirty five pound with the customs duty. So it's still cheaper to get it from America than what it was from trying to get one in England because that's ridiculous money over here. So that can go on later on today. Seat cover's on its way, hopefully that'll turn up today. I've stripped it all off ready. Done the painted the bracket that holds the seat on. So the decals have been made just got to pay for them now and we're getting really close to getting it finished well backlight on with the number plate holder 
really happy with that after waiting for it and looks like seat covers arrived as well just so I'm going to get that done that time again the time I recover my seat as, as we know I don't recover them the wife does them for me You love doing these, don't you, love? Mm. Right, seat's covered. Oh, I think you're going to model my seat for me. Both got cut fingers because there's spikes on these. There we go. Ain't good at doing these. Show the underneath. They're not like the others where they're stapled. These have little spikes that you have to bodge it onto. We both cut ourselves doing it. But it's done. Looking good. On. I've just got to pinch it up, wide it up, hopefully we should get bright light, which we do, side light, which we do, so that's done. I've got a few other jobs to do, notice the one fork leg has bloomed with the lacquer. So that's got to come back off, repolished and re lacquered, which I can re route the speedo cable at the same time because I didn't route it the right way. Seat, I'm just about to put it on. So we'll put this seat on. It's a marked improvement to what was on it. The back light's got a little crack here, which I'm not worried about. I'm getting get another one of them. I think they're about 10 quid. So while we're at it, we'll have a new one of them. Once we get these bolts in. Well, she's definitely looking a bit better than what she did. Had some good news. The check was sent off for the registration because it's got no documents with it. The check's been cashed. So I'm hoping they'll send me the number plate, well the log book. So I'll have the number plate for it then. So still a few bits to do. But she's getting there. <laughs> 